CDL Double Triple Trailers Practice Test 1 25 Questions Question 1 To uncouple the rear trailer, the first thing you do is Park the vehicle at a 45 degree angle on an incline Park the vehicle in a straight line on firm level ground Park the vehicle at a 45 degree angle on level ground The correct answer is Park the vehicle in a straight line on firm level ground Question 2 Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use the engine brake or speed retarder Keep other traffic out of your side space Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals The correct answer is Use the engine brake or speed retarder Question 3 If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available The correct answer is Either of the above, if available Question 4 Converter dollies Have little braking power because they are small Often do not have spring brakes Usually need a glad hand converter The correct answer is Often do not have spring brakes Question 5 If you must drive through deep puddles or flowing water, which of these should you not do? Use a lower gear Drive through quickly Increase engine RPM Gently pressing the brake pedal while driving through the water The correct answer is Drive through quickly Question 6 You are driving a set of doubles A set of trailer wheels goes into a skid Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways The correct answer is You will have a trailer jackknife Question 7 In order, the four steps to test your trailer's service brakes are as follows Check for normal air pressure Release the parking brakes Pull forward slowly Apply the trailer brakes, using the hand control if so equipped Apply the trailer brakes, using the hand control if so equipped Release the trailer's parking brakes. Check for normal air pressure. Pull forward slowly. Check for normal air pressure. Release the parking brakes. Apply the trailer brakes, using the hand control if so equipped. Step off the brakes and pull forward slowly. The correct answer is Check for normal air pressure, release the parking brakes, pull forward slowly, apply the trailer brakes, using the hand control if so equipped. Question 8 You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks, you should Hook the trailer electric cord to a portable generator for braking power. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with the tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. The correct answer is Supply air to the trailer air system with the tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 9 
What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. The airlines will rupture. The correct answer is The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 10. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street into another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn as shown in figure. A B C The correct answer is B Question 11 which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others whenever possible. The correct answer is you should avoid traveling next to others whenever possible. Question 12. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to allow more following distance than with smaller vehicles. Take special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Do both of the above. The correct answer is Do both of the above. Question 13 Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering movements more easily than do many other vehicles. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. You should apply the brakes at the same time that you perform quick steering movements. The correct answer is Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering movements more easily than do many other vehicles. Question 14 You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking, you should Use control door stab braking Use only the trailer brakes Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there The correct answer is Use control door stab braking Question 15 you are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least underscore seconds of space ahead of you. 11 9 10 The correct answer is 11 Question 16 before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers The correct answer is Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 17 The best way to stop all skids is to Counter-steer and accelerate Use stab or controlled braking Restore traction to the tires The correct answer is Restore traction to the tires Question 18 Empty trucks Require shorter stopping distances than full ones 
are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor traction due to bouncing and wheel lock up. The correct answer is May have poor traction due to bouncing and wheel lock up. Question 19 You have connected the converter dolly to the front semi trailer and then connected the rear semi trailer to the converter dolly. How should you test the coupling? Pull against the rear semi trailer's pin. Drive forward slowly and see if the rear semi trailer stays attached. Drive forward, brake suddenly, and see if the rear semi-trailer hits the one in front of it. The correct answer is Pull against the rear semi-trailer's pin. Question 20 You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second or third trailer. The trailer height is right if the kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The correct answer is The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 21 how can you be sure that you supplied air to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. The correct answer is Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 22 The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a double. The correct answer is The rear trailer of a triple. Question 23 With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear Air escape from the open valve. The emergency line valve open and release air. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The correct answer is Air escape from the open valve. Question 24 When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The shortest trailer. The lightest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The correct answer is the heaviest trailer. Question 25. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. Such mirrors do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Are against the law in most states. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. The correct answer is make things look smaller and farther away than they really are thanks for watching